All right, so we're going to talk about enabling offline payments. So to get to this interface here, go to Shopping Cart and then Settings. So offline payments are the ability to collect payment information to be processed later offline, so not online. So if you want to enable offline payments, you need to select this and hit Live. Okay, once you've done that, hit Save. Moving along, you go to your Checkout tab. And then in your offline payments panel here, you can select which ones to accept. Credit card, invoice customer, purchase order, check, bank, draft. So the credit card, you're actually going to collect information. Invoicing customer, uh, I believe you're just going to be collecting whatever information you're specifying here. Purchase order, same thing. Basically, they need to have an account set up, but that you will be invoicing them based upon a purchase order that they specify. And then check bank draft is where they are going to be explicitly sending you a check or bank draft. Specify whether or not you want to collect billing address and shipping address as well. There are additional two fields here for um, advice such as feedback or comments. Some people have used it for uh, other product recommendations or something like that. Okay, And that's all you have to do except you need to understand that you need to have your SSL web certificate set up as collecting this sort of information is very sensitive. You don't want to be sending it out in clear. So if you're going to be collecting credit card information, you need to make sure that you have SSL security options set up. So once you've specified all this information and hit save, you can go over to your SSL certificate, SSL area, and specify what your SSL certificate is set up as the URL. Now, not every, not every SSL certificate uses the same domain as uh, the, the non-SSL or non-HTTPS, so make sure that you've got this specified correctly. If you don't have this specified correctly, when somebody goes to go to checkout and, and select credit card, the system will throw up an error because it's trying to push the user to a website address that doesn't have a proper SSL setup. Okay.